What is up guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video you'll get to experience the beautiful and fast moving waters of the Chattahoochee River here in Columbus, Georgia. And much like my previous videos on the Okoe and Nanahela Rivers, this is going to be a full 4K experience of the entire trip with the exception of some battery changes. But you're going to get as close as you possibly can without actually rafting. You're going to see all the rapids, you're going to watch our raft flip, you're going to get all the soaking adrenaline impact moments as well as the beautiful views and some of the fascinating history of this little town if you enjoy videos like this please let me know in the comments down below you guys really loved my last two videos the okoe and anahela so thank you so much for that also a big shout out to danny our awesome raft guide from whitewater express he was super chill and super knowledgeable and it was a pleasure having him as our guide uh, i'll definitely have him guide me again so five stars to danny all day but without further ado let's get started on this awesome trip Danny from the nanny. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Again. <laughs> What's up? So this is where I get to introduce myself. Uh, my name's Danny. I'm a whitewater rafting guide. I'll be with you guys for the whole trip. You know, next two and a half miles, two hours or so, however long it takes. Can we swim? Yeah, I can. Yes. Okay. Comfortable. Um, let's go ahead and head on down. You guys ready? And excited? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go for it. Let's that. If you're not, then there's a van right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got eight. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Raise your hand if you've been rafting before. Welcome to Chattahoochee, everybody. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Well, once we get into the water, we can talk about it some more. But first, we got to get into the water. Okay? We got to find our way. That's uh, our other crew. Who, has everybody been rafting, or is this first time? I've been. Okay. Sweet. So, um, all rafting's pretty similar, but just to make sure, even for those that have been, and go over a few things I like you guys to know before you get into my boat. Mm -hmm. uh, how to sit in it, how we're going to paddle, um, where we're going to sit, you know, front, middle, or back, because each boat has three rows to it. Um, it's where I find our most fun boat that we have down here. And I see it. Uh, yeah. okay. Awesome. All right, so this is the Chattahoochee River behind me. It goes from Helen, Georgia, way north of us, down to the Gulf of Mexico. All water has to flow down. Dang. No, 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 I'm taking that off. I'll just pull it off after. Cool. Um, so within Whitewater, there's, there's moving current right there, and then there's still water spots we call eddies. There's a big one right in front of us here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up to this boat here, just jump in it real quick, pretty much, and float out of the way of everyone else. I'll go over to everything once we're out there on the water. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. I'm gonna jump through here with my friends. We're gonna make a parsing red Come on. You guys want sideways? Uh, you guys can just hop on in. We'll adjust seats. <laughs> well, actually, right here. Uh, no, we'll make that the front. We'll make that the front. All right. We'll mix it up. We'll mix it up. I got. Well, uh, this boat has to grab to it. That's a really fun part of it. If not, that's what brings us to so we're going to sit here to a row, and then um, whoever's in the single row, whether you sit it's here, on the or our back row, I'm on the side. back personally, uh, I'm going to have you on the oh, right yeah. row in the single row. Because so I'll be on the right, and I'll counter us out, and you sit us out that way. So you guys have found your way to the seats, and figured that those big tubes in the middle are for chairs and sitting down. Fantastic. Uh, the next step is the kind of more intimidating if it's your first time rafting. You're going to sit half on that inner tube, but half on the large tube that goes around the outside. Okay, the reason we sit further over the edge, it gives us more like ability to paddle stronger. Um, when you guys paddle, the hand on the inside is covering up the T-grip. We can go ahead and do that with everyone now. That way we'll just not have to worry about the T-grips. Um, and then the one on the outside, you know, you can't hold comfortably. Everybody lean forwards, lean backwards. Lean forwards, lean backwards. Okay, do that same motion, but this time we're gonna paddle twice. So let's go forwards, two. 
Yeah. So a as you're paddling with that blade in the water, moving your body back and forth is gonna give you a lot more power. Okay, you've got both hands on the paddle, so how do you keep yourselves in the boat? Um, for us two in the front row, in between this big tube and the floor, there's a gap in the raft. If you like wedge your foot more in that gap, that's your seat belt, okay? Right. You guys that are in the back of the boat, you have that gap as well along the sides, but you got a tube in front of you. You can kind of just kick your foot right underneath that tube in front of you. Um, that's like locking in, we call it. Um, that's just, again, when we're going through rapids, you're gonna be paddling, have your hand on the paddle, so that's how we're staying in the boat. Now, let's say, um, the, either, whether intentionally or unintentionally, the boat just tilts one way and we start all falling out of it. Your feet will come out. Don't worry about your feet being stuck in the boat. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> um, uh, one or two more things we'll practice. Um, surfing is an extracurricular where we go into a feature, it holds us in place, we get big splashes, we risk flipping, we try not to. Um, but we'll get across over to the other side, we'll do a little bit of practice paddling to get over there, and then uh, I'll show you guys how to get down and what we're going to do when we go surfing, because I don't want to just go into a surf without us knowing about it. Uh, what I call our paddle strokes, I'm going to say a direction which is either forwards or backwards, which is where we move the boat. Um, and then the number. The number is how many times we paddle. Okay, everybody, so let's practice here. Let's go forwards, too. Awesome. Awesome. Y'all two up front going at the same time as each other keeps everyone behind you in sync. Wow. Okay, and we're trying to stay like our favorite boy band. Um, in sync and moving in one direction. <laughs> let's go ahead, go forwards, three. Now, in front of us there is the North Highlands Dam. Um, they do use that to produce electricity for the city of Columbus. Up above it on the right is the old Bibb City Mills. This town's been around forever, and back in the uh, late 1800s and early 1900s, there was no North Highlands Dam. It was the Bibb City Mills. They built a dam there, but it, it wasn't necessarily initially for electricity. Late 1800s didn't have too much electricity. So, um, they used it to spin wheels and just basically do like simple machinery. Hmm. Is your GoPro on? It is, is it? on. I don't think you're on. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. There you go. Okay, yeah. nice. Okay, <laughs> go forwards too. Alright, so we're, we're actually peeling into one of those eddies, those calm spots. But we're going to sit here and watch what these other boats do. And I'm going to give one more beta piece of instruction before <laughs> we go in. Okay, so you see how they're seated, how their paddle blades are in the water? Uh -huh. Actually, that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. How to say if we get to that position, why we get to it, and, uh, and, and uh, yeah, how to safely get out of that position. Um, when I, we get close to the wave, you guys see them paddling towards it. Uh -huh. We need you to help paddle, paddle, paddle. Once we get there, we'll say, get down, get down. Okay, we get down because it lowers our center of gravity, and it keeps us more secure in the boat. Uh, when we do so, you guys are going to take the T-grip, you're using it, paddling, and then just take that T-grip straight to the floor. If it's straight to the floor, it's out of our way, and then we just slide forwards into the bottom of the boat. Okay, it's pretty close, so you guys are going to get to know each other well. <laughs> Let's practice one time. Let's go backwards, two. And backwards, one more. Get down, get down! <laughs> oh, there you go. Now when we're down, the right side of the boat's going under. Lean left, lean left, and lean right. <laughs> awesome, y'all. Hop on up, everyone. <laughs> oh yeah. I, I feel much more comfortable with this boat. It also ages. Well, you guys have the serial number on that side, but oh, yeah, I right believe there. this boat somewhere around an 09, 07, something like that. Dang. Forwards too, y'all. All right, and forward one. Go ahead and get down, you guys. Woo! <laughs> 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 Thank <laughs> you.
Linda got the paddle. Everybody else, go ahead and try to find some paddle. Alright, back. Y'all got the paddle backwards. Alright. Yeah. All right, grab that paddle. So we'll toss that paddle up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Did I drink so much water? <laughs> 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 oh, man. Here you go, bro. You're good, man. Oh, yeah, is my still recording right now? <laughs> yeah, you're still recording. Nice. All forward, Jeff. All right, forward. All together. <laughs> Section. Awesome, How do we all feel now? We feel great. <laughs> <laughs> all right, take a break. I know what to expect now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, it's still fast enough to cover that class. All right, we're just fly over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to feel that. Oh, look at Chick fil A raft. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly where it happened last time. <laughs> it's a good one. That's a exactly. great way to warm it up. How it happened? Like, there, I, I definitely have some folks that I'm like, I don't want to swim. Everybody today, when we're ready to swim, everybody's ready to get here. It's practice. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome. Yeah, so um, that's the, the high-siding and flip. When we're high-siding, that low side just keeps getting lower. <laughs> um, and sometimes it's like... When it hits hard enough, even with a good high side, like if we just didn't high side, y'all on the left would have fallen out and we uh, like would have just flopped back down. Huh. <laughs> oh man. Great, great. great. <laughs> so much for uh, keeping a good record. <laughs> It was actually funny when you said go right. I'm the only one that went right. Everybody went left. Yeah. <laughs> I went right as well. <laughs> I went right as well. Wait, that was bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the first one. Ah, that was yep. Yeah. I, I definitely landed on top of it. Probably you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Okay. Yeah. I, I tried getting up, but then something kept hitting my head. I was like, oh, it's probably the raft. The raft. No. <laughs> oh no, it might have been Danny. Okay. <laughs> I was way out there. Uh. <laughs> no, no, no. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, let's get three forward, y'all. That's a cool raft. I didn't know Chick fil A sponsored anything like that. <laughs> so, where y'all from? We're, we're, we're both stationed here. Okay. We're, we're Birmingham. Yeah, I'll feel with the Birmingham area. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, so uh, to our left is actually Danny. They just let him back on the river after three years. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, yeah, thanks for being our rap guy. <laughs> So it's like I think just south of Birmingham. What's the name? Oh, yeah, I'm from Helena. Florida? Uh, Wait, what do you say about Helena? Which one? Because I'm. Well, you said there's more a few that are from Helena, probably a few guys. Oh. Oh, he's got it. He's a good ass guy. This summer? 
Was it this summer? Yeah. Oh, Memorial Oh, no, never mind. It's like a little bit of a Let's get three forwards. There's more from Florida. I can't think of it offhand. But, um. Yeah, but Hill's funny. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Wait. I, I'm pretty reserved on the jokes in the boat. <laughs> I'm just spit them out. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah. Big huh. one, though. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so what did you say about the guys from Helena? Oh, the two of them are guides here. Like oh, they're, they're nice. Like from Helena, one goes to UAB, one goes to, went to Auburn. He's graduated now. Oh, what are their names? Um, Caleb and Daniel Jones. Yep, they, I went to school with them. Actually, They're from high school. Yeah, I, I graduated with them in Helena High School. Yeah. 2018. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. I remember Caleb. Yeah. I yeah. Wow. Okay, good for them. That's awesome. Caleb is uh, Whitewater Waffles on YouTube. Yeah, that's yeah, I follow him. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm subscribed to him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What water waffles? I got to graduate high school in 2013. Okay. Huh. Dang. Were you 30 already? Yes. <laughs> I'm 29. When was your birthday? How did it feel, man? Did they have to How did it feel? A year and a half, wasn't it? Honestly, my body hurts. What did you say? Are two day hangovers a thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mind finishing up. <laughs> I heard uh, like uh, one of my friends that they say when you turn 30 your hangovers turn from one day to two days <laughs> and, uh, some have said it's very true dang wow huh. how long have you been a guide um summer number six. Oh, nice yeah so I'm here on uh, Muskogee County like work probation <laughs> That's how I started. So make sure to leave a good review, please. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I found I, I took a summer camp and just fell head over heels for kayaking and rafting and all. Oh, that. nice. And now it's like still doing it. Yeah, I, I Heck like, yeah, man. Like this, this whole, like, is fun. It's awesome. Yeah, you convinced me to do it. I was like. Mm. Yeah. Should I? Should I not? <laughs> it's like separation from <clears throat> everything. <clears throat> and a good coffee. That's a win. Anything to get out of there, right? <laughs> oh, man. This is going to be John. There's a great blue hair on the rock on the left. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're going to be crazy out here. Consistently four different flows as you mm. get less rain, you know, they knock off the four units They'll only do you know two units and sometimes it's like only one unit or base flow And then like two units for a couple hours and then nothing. Oh, and dang <laughs> Wow, so wow. Like out west or um, other places in the world 
where you get snow melt. We're in Georgia, there's no snow. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all rain dependent. And um, to consistently have water, they built lakes and dams all up and down this stretch so that there's always a water supply. Oh, okay. So rain snow. Yep. Yeah, it rained today and it's always being tallied that pours into one of the lakes and comes down here somehow. Huh. Uh, back like when they started building all of this, the government built dams and everything. Uh, building Lake Rainier. That's oh, the yeah. water supply of Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> uh, and that's where this river flows is through Atlanta and then down to here and again to the Gulf of Mexico. Between Atlanta and here, uh, there's like multiple different tributary lakes that fill through the water and help, you know, clean it up naturally as best they can. The more the water flows, the, the cleaner it's going to be. The more still water you have, the more algae you can grow and different things happen. So that's what they looked at when they saw Columbus, Georgia. Is this stretch of river used to have a dam, so this was a flat water section. Do one pour over and then a flat water section and then another big pour over. So it was kind of stinking water and uh, the dams weren't doing anything. They were just walls of concrete. So what they decided was come through, let's destroy the dams. Let's make the rapids as safe and as big as possible, uh, which making a big but also safe rapid is total opposites typically. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they, they did pretty good. There's inherent danger with this for sure, especially given public access. There's a river walk right there. I mean, there's shore lines. Once we get into downtown, there'll be people right up next to the river and they're just sitting on a rock hanging out, which is really cool, but, but it's also scary. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, please don't slip. <laughs> oh, yeah. <It's> scary. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, that is a, that's a cormoran. Um, they're a little bit smaller than the herons. Their unique feature is, A, they do that pose where they're just drying their wings out like that. But then B, they also, they'll fly from the air, they'll dive into the water, and then just fly around underwater for like 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, dang. So, and, and if they do it in moving water, you'll like, they'll dive way back oh, there and okay. then pop up like way from there. Oh. Oh yeah, they're pretty. They're a pretty bird. He's showing off. <laughs> He's like, hey, it feels that good when. <laughs> Gonna head go forwards too, y'all. They're said to be like downstream, but this this water moves too much. Gators are lazy. No. They don't. Lazy and cold blooded are like kind of similar. <laughs> At least that's what I thought about my ex. <laughs> so, uh, but still, they, yeah, they don't want to use as much energy the gators, so they'll stay. They are in this river for sure. They were introduced and like Lake, Lake Ebola is downstream from here. There's gators in Lake Ebola for sure. Oh. Ooh. Wow, people coming there. Yeah. I'm from Florida, man. We swim in lakes. <laughs> we swim in rivers. Oh, yeah. like gator friends. <laughs> I mean, they, they avoid you. They stay away. I like, I like spiders. Yeah. The the most fun ones are golf course gators. <laughs> humans, you can like almost walk up to them, and then they jump in the water. <laughs> just above the knee down mm. oh, it was wow. a birth defect he was he's had his whole life so he jokes about it too so huh. that's why we don't feel bad <laughs> <laughs> oh his nickname was gonna be there were a lot of stubs. options <laughs> stubs was my vote that's, where I that's <laughs> funny uh, somebody said tink tink <laughs> somebody said uh legs 
We stuck with horseshoe. Oh, interesting. Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. And it's funny too, because he'll be walking around without his legs, and he's like, you know, a little above four foot. And then he puts his legs on, and he's like six six. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, so we're coming up on our next rapid ahead, passing our biggest flat water stretch. And uh, this rapid is actually going to be where we float through an a, a old dam that isn't there anymore. Mm. Um, so that's kind of how this big flat water pool got set up was this big dam here. But on our left, all of these rocks with all the grasses and small trees, that's all like new environment, new ecosystem since they blew the dams up. Uh, oh, okay. The project for the dams was in 2011, I think they made their first destruction. This dam was 2012. Um, oh, so okay. all those grasses did they were underwater for this whole time but before that hmm. now it's a whole environment there's an endangered flower species in there the shoal lily also known as the spider lily that they they bloom once a year but with our waters fluctuating so much much in the winter when we get major floods uh, if you guys see the the remains of the dam on the right kind of jetted off from that river walk Oh, when yeah. the dam is underwater, that's like 50, 60,000 CFS cubic feet per second. Oh, wow. We're right now at about four to 5,000, somewhere in between that. So hmm. 60,000 CFS is a significant, a lot more. Um, in this rapid here, at that high of a flow, that's where we get the biggest wave you can find in the entire southeast. When you're surfing in it, it's about... 15 feet tall and 15 Jeez. feet wide. Wow. If you like start getting pushed right, you're getting pushed <laughs> all the way right. Dang. It, it's really cool. Southern Pride Stakeout. We stake out the winter here, all winter, just to surf that wave. Dang. <laughs> wow. Multiple surfs. Dang. But um, with this dam here, it goes coincides with on the left the old city mills. Uh, those were for food products, flour, grit, uh, corn, that sort of food product. And now they've sat abandoned for so long. Back in 2022, they did renovations there and turned it into a hotel and like a nice. nice restaurant in that gray building. Yeah, that's really There's nice. Kind of like studios. They're constantly building up the riverfront properties now. Oh, the I next bet. Next building down is Mercer, which got built in 21. So like all. Oh, so recent stuff. Wow. Hey, we've got Glitter and Grits. Glitter and Grits has a, a little bit of a serve. It's kind of trying to be a party serve. Uh, I believe Barnes is going to want to go forward. Let's go ahead and go forwards to. I just heard the two more. I was like, what? Here we go. Let's go forwards, too. Hey, two more. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's the first. And here are the explorers of the Chattahoochee Whitewater Park or Woo! Rush South Whitewater Park. Had to come out here and make this, this wave here just by putting rocks here. Oh. Yeah, go forwards too. <laughs> Here you guys are complimenting us. <laughs> what we did on that. Oh, the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's why we really don't like what we're after here. Make other people enjoy watching. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't do some watching as well. When we get to our big rapid, we'll go through it and then we'll set some safety below, pick some people up if they fall out. Okay. Then, uh, We'll hop out on the big rock and watch them all go through. Oh, nice. We want to be in the first half of the trip so that we get the chance to watch boats go through. All right, well, we're sounds good. We're in that first half. Nice. We're going to do it there, dude. We'll do more surfing. The habitat ledge. You guys did the paddle a little bit. Get rain tight, rain tight. Right. I'm just kind of feeling All right, go ahead and wait. Now, fall all the Company coming. <laughs> oh, wait, we gotta lean right. Don't want another flip. Oh, guys. I thought we were going to have to go. I really thought so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, we got much water. <laughs> uh. Oh, wow. Good job, y'all. Let's get three forward. Yeah, Benji, I've got more points than Benji, I think, than any other returning guy. Benji's funny. Dang. All right. It's getting good forward, too, y'all. Different when the water's moving. Yeah. We're just gonna play. It's a whole different aspect. Like 
I was wondering we were going to fall and we were the first. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. Uh, I, I think even today, even this morning. I have been 10 minutes wow. in. <laughs> it was good. What's yeah, your, that? your biggest things to worry uh, about are um, uh, us falling on top of each other. Uh, when you pop up, you might be underneath the boat. That's a freaky one. And then um, when I go to flip the boat over, it comes in hot. So I'll, mm. I, before I flip, I check around me to be like, yo, like, back up. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, you guys handle everything awesome. We pull each other in by those shoulder straps. Anybody can pull anybody in. So uh, if we flip or if we're setting safety for other boats that flip, you guys picking each other up or helping pick people up, I can continue just guiding. Nice. Yeah, okay. it's a whole, whole setup. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, I'll last year, there's this one woman in her daughter. Every, every single time, it would, like, like the bomb like, would flip out of the boat. It's like, like, we have everyone, wait, where's the where, 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 where mom at? Like, Somewhere. She was floating. <laughs> Five times that day. Oh my god. That was crazy. What's that one flower you were talking about? The spider lily or the shoal lily. What does it look like? This time of year it's just a stalk. There's like one or two stalks that would go. The flower itself, they they bloom once a year and it's typically right around May, in the, somewhere in the spring flower, springtime. It oh, has a fish. five or six petals to it there's on the right flower, here. and each petal is very, very, very thin. So they're very long petals, but very thin. Don't tell me, huh? White. It's yeah. like the Cahaba lily almost, right? Yeah. Might be the same thing, just different name for it. He's dead, right? <clears throat> hmm? A Don't tell Muzon. Muzon? Who's that? From, uh, from, from Doomsday? Man, I don't know that one. Uh, I'm looking for some more, but I don't see any. And you see that tree up there with all those little round green things up there? Mm -hmm. What's that tree? That one, I'm not sure. I, I, think, I think those are like some sort of like berries. Yeah. yeah. They're like a, they're kind of like an apple. They're like a hard tree nut almost. Oh, that happened? It's, it's a small one. Um, we're here in a shallow spot, you guys. So you can actually pop out of the boat here. Uh, we're going to slide these paddles in, like, kind of just slid in between the seats there. Yeah. Uh, popping out, you guys can put some shells or a little pebble. Oh, in, nice. In but when we're swimming, we'll pick it all out. Uh, we are, what we're going to do is pull the river and the swimming stretch. Everyone, we're going to walk or swim our way out into that current. Once you're in the current, we want to float on our back with our feet up. All right. Okay. So kind of float. We hold on to the boat or no? Keep our feet right. that way because that's where we're going and that's where the rocks are at. All right. So, um, you can just swim your way out once you're in the channel. Uh, hop on your back. Otherwise, if you need to swim around, you're welcome to. It's just slow moving water. Oh, nice. Um, just re realize there are rocks at the bottom of this. <laughs> Oh, well, this is pretty neat. Is it still recording? And then I'll kind of be like Mama Duck, okay? You guys follow me. Yep, this is what I like. My little duck. Yep. Oh, we follow Mama. <laughs> Right on. <laughs> Steer.
Rick, you guys remember number one and number two? No number two. <laughs> Oh. This is your only bathroom break, Adam. <laughs> Probably be the cleanest thing in the water anyway. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, where's your phone? Did you not bring it? I didn't bring it. Oh, dang. I didn't want to risk losing it. Yeah, that's fair. Why do this? Well, I had that, but. <laughs> <laughs> can't, can't always be too sure. <laughs> yeah. To enjoy nature. You know why? You know how? You know you know reason for this? Hey, it's in day hot. Yeah. You're gonna take a selfie or what? That was going to. Let me know. We did this. You got in and we went forever. And it was. A lot of it was like this speed. But it was deep and you could see all the way down. It could be the middle. That one's in the middle of nowhere. Is that the uh the uh the GoPro Black Ten? Yeah. I think that's in the nine. I absolutely love this one. Oh nice. Huh. In mid 1800s there was the American Civil War going on. This town was well established then. It, this town's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. So when it came for the American Civil War making it this far south, uh, they actually had a battle take place to try and conquer Columbus, Georgia. That battle ended up taking place nine days after they signed the peace treaty. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, late news. <laughs> yeah, late news. They, the tweets weren't tweeting back then. <laughs> and, uh, so they, they went at it overnight around this 14th Street Bridge right here. Obviously not this rendition. Mm -hmm. This is a modern pedestrian bridge. Uh, but in that battle, uh, you might have heard the story earlier in the trip. You guys do he took a big old saber wound. Some say he fell into the river and swam through the rapids. Oh, wow. um, but that's, you can't prove any of that. What you guys can prove is after he healed from that attack, um, he had a lot of pain and he created his own pain medicine, which would initially become the original recipe of Coca-Cola. <laughs> nice. Coca-Cola was created here in Columbus. It was set up in a shop, a pharmacy, um, and it was sold on Broadway, which is our downtown road. <laughs> and uh, then some brothers from Atlanta saw it in the like early 1900s, maybe 1920s, 30s, somewhere in there, and they bought it and moved it to Atlanta. Oh, so, nice. Coke was in Atlanta, and that's where the Coke Center is. Um, but it was founded here. So <laughs> that's our, our unique feature here. Coca-Cola is founded here. Um, other industries. Aflac is a big one that people know. Aflac. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and let's see. The Novus is a building throughout the south, or building, a bank throughout oh, yeah. the southeast. Uh, up ahead, I'll, I'll point it out when we're like standing on that rock, but there's the Eagle and Phoenix Mills. They were a textile mill. They, they took cotton, raw cotton into bread, and bread into clothing. And uh, 
Within that bank, they created the first ever in-house bank, a place for employees to store their money. Oh. Uh, so the first ever one here in the nation, and that that in-house bank, as it grew, gave, grew to become Sonoma's. It's not an in-house hmm. bank anymore, but um, yeah, now it's big chain. And so, like, uh, another addition to downtown Columbus, this big building here with Sonovas on the side. Oh, yeah. That building didn't exist, like, 10 months ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was just a dirt lot. Oh, wow. As was this one right here with the rooftop, like, right next oh, to Sonovas, yeah. the smaller-looking big one. That's Hotel Indigo. They built it in 2021, I think. Um, next down the line to the right, that's the Rapids. So uh, underneath the bridge, those are the apartments we're going to flow through. So oh, if you want to okay. stay, you can go to the Rapids. Uh, but that's a, you know, you bring housing to downtown hotels, you get more people, mm -hmm. it brings people to the area. You blow up the dams and create white water out, it brings people to the area. Yeah. And it the water. Yeah, a lot, a lot cleaner. And, and it's progressively year by year getting better. Now there's certain things that happen um, that don't help the water, but that's a constant battle. We had one outbreak along the Chattahoochee River downstream of us, about 50 miles, a uh, some kind of plant, I, I think a chicken farm or something, dumped a lot of biohazards into oh, the dang. river. Ah, just to dump them. Now they're gonna, you know, catch a nice lawsuit from that and settlements and whatever's gonna happen, but there's no taking back. They flushed a bunch of stuff into the ocean. Bang. So, that, and that, that does happen, but there's a Chattahoochee River Conservancy, CRC. There's the Chattahoochee River Keepers. Um, and there's a few other just like environmental groups, conservancies out here, constantly checking the water quality up and down, seeing how year to year it's getting better. Um, this, the Chattahoochee River Conservancy, their big thing they do is the spider lily project. Mm -hmm. So they'll they'll take spider lilies from the Coosa River, since ours were totally eradicated here. They come in and they transplant them. Oh, okay, okay. So they'll, you know, it's not the true natural Chattahoochee spider lily. It's kind of like a Coosa Chattahoochee hybrid now, mm -hmm. but it's still that Dumb same flower. Lily. They brought it back. Oh, okay. And what the, that flower is great for is it holds the dirt together. When we get these big floods, the bottom of the river, all the rocks are kind of being pushed and moved and sand is being shifted all around. Well, you get enough of these trees and flowers and plants, it holds the riverbed together during the flood. Hmm. So that's always exciting to watch. And yeah, the floods here, they can change rapids. Oh, I bet. Seriously. And more constant growth with the river, and maybe not necessarily growth, this is actually quite opposite. On the Alabama shore here, they chopped down all those trees. It was built up like this before. Um, oh, just yeah. like swampy, you couldn't walk through it. And that's where your access becomes more limited. Um, that's what we're famed for here, is with this white water as a sport. Typically, to go to white water, you have to go into the mountains, go to very remote areas to find it. Oh, yeah, you go right. to a white water river for white water rafting, and there's nothing else around. Um, here we got two big cities and it's right in the middle. Guide. We don't land. Yeah. <laughs> Did you bring your waivers? <laughs> I carry my waiver on there. I don't have a <laughs> We can show off our waivers to them. You guys want to show our waivers? Y'all sure. seriously didn't bring waivers? Hey, everybody, we're going to show you our waivers. <laughs> Yeah, they have waivers. <laughs> 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 uh, well, that's one you can walk from Georgia to Alabama. That's a good one. I learned that one this year. Oh, there <laughs> we, we learned different uh, ones here and there. That's funny. <laughs> Somebody says it first, and, and it's hard to trace the origin. Just catch a shirt. <laughs> yeah. Well, here what we do, so so we're building up to go in through our big rapid. Mm -hmm. and what we're here is we like to space ourselves out a lot. Um, the reason we do that, a boat could be stuck in the feature. We don't want to just come right into it. Right. Um, I've been doing this a lot longer than a lot of other people, so I don't space as much. Um, mm -hmm. But not to say I'm not mindful of the space. Oh, yeah, of course. We're going to cruise through. Hey! You want to... Uh, the T-Dot looks good, dude. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I had that one on. I for, I brought my helmet home and PFD yesterday. It's like he's wearing his dad's hat when he wears them. <laughs> he said he said one of the things is having the hair. With this big of a dome, you gotta you gotta have something flowing. Mirror, <laughs> <laughs> you know, before he bought it, checked it out. He just looked at it. It was like, yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice to come back here. Some distinct, some kind of in between. We'll end with cut bait. Mm -hmm. Cut bait's gonna have two significant features to it. We'll be kind of cruising flat, moving a good bit, and then we'll go down our first drop. That's entrance way. That kind of, for me, is what decides our line and, and where we're gonna go, right, left, center. Um, and then we have a really, really big up the rooster tail and then down in the park line. Um, <laughs> it, it acts as cool as I just described it there. Uh -huh. Okay. How many total rapids have we done? Top to bottom. Uh, us today, what? What we're doing from here, we're gonna run cut bait. We're gonna hop on the rock, watch people run cut bait. And then what we do is we go over to a rapid that's very lapable. We do multiple laps on it. And uh, you guys can, well, it's basically a playground, a water park there. <laughs> nice. Hey, man -ho. Man -ho. You're good. Come on. <laughs> this is Pemberton Falls. No Pemberton. This ain't a on here today. <laughs> It'd be nice to come back here and go to the hotel and the bridge and everything. That'd be a nice place. Yeah. And this guy got fall works too. <laughs> Are you shooting? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of going slow here, like I'm spacing, uh -huh. spacing out a little bit. Oh yeah, this is where we were at earlier. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, that is crazy. Look at that. Oh, no. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh! Wow. Wow. Put your paddle up. You gotta put your paddle up. I know we were. Uh, Dude, that is impressive. I know one time when we went that the poop out down, we were trying Jalen! We ended up. Jalen! Two! And, and the next thing I know, I look over and I think they're all the same. The <laughs> and I see <laughs> my. Mine's a little tighter. Just like me. I don't wear a top. Well, you, lo you lost one. I've got a soccer in the air. What'd you lose? My, my grip was thin. This is thicker. Oh, that's probably one of those back rich. there. My grip was thin. He took one. I loved it. That's cool. <laughs> we kept our flip flops. <laughs> Alright, so um, y'all within my boat, um, on this side it's a little deeper than that side, but like at the Lazy River, just toss the paddles in the boat. You guys can slide out on this side, keep the It's waist deep, and you just slowly slide out, on the land in your hand. y'all with Jalen, Oh, let's go watch the other groups. Awesome, y'all. Y'all can head on up that big rock All right. there. Alright. Well, there's a couple more coming. Dude, that was amazing. That was so cool. Holy cow. And to think that we were literally just right there. <laughs> wow. 
Oh yeah, I was saying earlier, like, earlier if we have time, we should go explore, like, that bridge and, like, the hotel or something if we get the time. I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I'll make sure to mark it. I'll make sure to. I, I can mark like a specific timeline to cut the picture. But can you see yourself?
Pretty close. <laughs> that, was, that was good. Oh, oh yeah. Especially that, 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 that one black raft. Yeah. That was, that was a surprise thing. You flipped at all. Uh, huh. Our raft is in this grove here. All right. Yeah. Did we lose our other folks? I got you. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, ours is in this It up. We're going to be, before going through a rapid again, um, we're getting out and back in. All right. Oh, we can do a serve. Uh, whomever gets our back row, if you could just sit on the left. Olivia. <laughs> or are we Maddie? This was yours. I mean, back then, I mean, I mean, back then. Everybody's got a paddle. Yeah. Yep. I mean, back then, the river probably wasn't as full, cool too. Guys, I had to get ready. This is like a fifth dog. I had to get ready. Yeah. Just get one. You're crocked. Oh, this crocked. That's why I wear Crocs. 
Dude, I'm wearing covers. Yeah, but they, but they won't, they won't come off my feet unless, like, we go, unless we go, just something like that. <laughs> but Crocs, on the other hand, I have, I have flipped over. And I saw my Crocs just floating. I was like, oh, like, oh, oh, it's funny. like, oh, okay. There's my Croc. Yeah. I had one Croc on me too. I was like, what the other Croc? Oh, they fell. Somebody had to join our fun. We had. Yeah. I'm gonna do it on purpose. Oh man. This guy's do it on purpose. Don't don't do it. We're all going. Oh yeah, they they all went for swim. Nice. That orange boat, the guy with the white helmet and red beard. Oh yeah. He's here to help. That's our safety kayaker. Oh okay, nice. You know, get us back in. Oh, that's fun. That's the guy we did the surfing next to. Yeah. Oh okay. Nice. Alright, let's get go forward too. So what we do here is this is Wave Shaper here in front of us. Uh, beyond Wave Shaper, those brick buildings there are all a part of the Eagle and Phoenix Mills. Again, formerly textile mills, now they are condos and apartments. Okay. Bringing people to the city and taking some history and this city is using We're going to do a small crossing here. Oh, it's almost paddle. We're going to go forward three. We're going to pick up that paddle. Let's go forward three. <laughs> that was close. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, you get falling. Yeah, look at you, come on. You saw my face, like, you were like, your body in the water. Oh, man. That is so funny. We were literally kayaking here earlier. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, they're doing a photography shoot. I know, I know you can't. So right then there, there's actually... Help save us paddle strokes. Yeah. Oh, Chick-fil-A boat. All right, y'all. Let's go forward. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, I'm biased to say that this is the prettiest part of Florida, Georgia right here. It does look nice. Yeah, this is our, the Chattahoochee River Walk, the same one they had that we had at our put-in. You guys walked across those bridges. It goes about 18 miles downstream and about four miles uh, upstream. So you, like, they do all kinds of different events. This morning there was a half and full marathon they did along this oh, river. Wow. Um, so it's beautiful. You can get out to see the city and see the see the river. It's, it's nice out here at night. Like at, at night, it's kind of nice out here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, they, they have those gates closed now. And they close the gate at sunset. Sometimes sunset is like six o'clock to them. I say uh, them. That's Columbus, Georgia. Uh, <laughs> city. Yeah, yeah, this is right uh, it's actually a private island uh, that someone loans to the city to use. Oh wow! Uh, it's kind of an, the people that own these buildings technically own the island too. Oh, okay. It's, it's a loan. This building in front of us is the old powerhouse. So this was actually a dam that produced hydroelectricity. But turbines that were built in the very early 1900s are not super productive um, or efficient. So they, they weren't producing electricity in the 21st century. It was just an abandoned building. Um, now, the, out on the outside portion of it, that's an outside deck that they do events. And then there's an interior building in there. It's an entire event center you can rent wow. out. Which is cool. We've had I've been to a few events up there. 
weddings and different, you know, events. Hmm. Um, yeah. yeah, they had a, uh, when they went through and renovated the building, they had to take the turbines out that were already pre-existing. And um, one of those turbines actually had a stamp on it that said 1911 Chicago World's Fair. Oh, they, wow. They figured out AC versus DC, which is more fuel efficient. Huh. Hello, Danny. Huh? Hello. Hello. Is this uh, Archie? Yeah. <laughs> Archie, I, I got your pal. Yeah, dude, that was crazy. As soon as I went to get hit record, all I'll see was... Once these boats are moved, we'll hop out. I like the safest place to hop out, which is an empty boat race. <laughs> yeah. um, what we'll do is, let's go ahead, let's go forwards to everyone. After those two passengers, go ahead and secure your paddle in the boat, like we did earlier many times. Um, once we bump against the rock, again, anywhere from ankle to knee deep here. You guys can hop out at either side. And then with the three of us, there's a strap along the sides. There's handles down lower. We're going to carry this boat up, everyone. And the lower handles help out the most. They look like they are about to rip off. But they are some of the strongest handles you'll ever see. Until they rip off. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, we've done a lot of we have done a lot of this today. <laughs> like I said, I think oh, okay. so, Wow. So, 15 years of service. Alright y'all, we'll set it down here. Pop our squat here in line. We've done a lot of boat carrying today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is uh, Wave Shaper Island. One of the, like, coolest. If it was a park, this would be the coolest park. Nice. Like, uh, there's parks and such all up there. You know, people come down here for fun on Saturdays to watch, to walk, to be outside. Man, this is it's nice. Awesome. Is wow. that a, what class is that one? Eight. So it's one to five. Okay. Yeah. So this is right on board. Uh, difficulty uh, and like danger and different factors you put in. We don't have as much danger. It's mostly just big floating water. Now since we have a large amount of water without these, very dangerous for sure. Um, but for us in, in these, like we might bang some rocks on if you're on this side. If you're in the middle, you're not going to touch a single rock. Oh, okay. We've touched rocks. I've built these rocks a lot. <laughs> I bet. Uh, you know, over the years you've built lots of rocks. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what that thing got put there. I know. I saw it last time I was here. I like. I wish I had my phone on me. Yeah. Hey, drugs. Hey guys, drugs. Drugs. Did you get caught up with the rest? Go ahead and pile on in. 
Excuse me. Oh, you're not gonna go front? I want to get to the front. There's this little strap here, that's what we got to hold on to. The reason it's called bull riders, is you're sitting up here and you're supposed to for eight seconds hold on with one hand. <laughs> oh, <Okay>. no. <laughs> oh, so, I'll do that. That's yeah, awesome. you want it? Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. Here, let me see that paddle. All right, hop on up there. On that. Yeah. <laughs> Bonds is going for the wheelie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. This is good for the video. Yeah. Woo! All right, everybody. Let's go forwards too. Yeah, forwards. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Woo! Hold it like bunched up in your hand. Don't let the strap hang around. Bunch the strap up. Yeah. Let's go forwards too. Yeah, forwards too. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Got sandwiched. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, part of having a flat boat is it's uh, less rigid. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Oh. oh nice. Oh, 
thought Leroy was supposed to be in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, what a drop sir! Oh, he went under, yeah. Oh yeah, that's on. Good <laughs> <laughs> lone, lone survivor. That's <laughs> awesome. That's tough. I try to save it, at least some clips, that way I can like. Oh well, it's on camera mode right now. Made to, like, blink your head? <laughs> no, it's on camera. It's like taking pictures. Yeah, you gotta pop up actually. A screen. Yeah, here. You gotta. No, I got it. You can go to mode, uh, time lapse, video. Right now it's in video. Oh, yeah, there you go. Had it. it was recording the whole time. Oh, well, why don't like, Because the first time we did, like, two weeks ago, I, I had to use it. Like, right you know, up there, like, the first half of it, it was, it was going, like, in. Like, in it was going, to, like, really, like, really fast. Like, like, there's no sound or anything, and so I was really wanting to get the footage of me like coming up in the water. So I, was, I ended up in that water. You can, I think you can like on the GoPro app, stretch videos to make them longer or shorten them, like make them shorter. Oh, you think you can edit it? I think so. I mean, I, I can do that. You can cut down, cut right down. Huh? Oh, yeah. There's, there is a set like this video, time lapse is the fast speed. Keep doing it, that's nice. You wanna be a bull rider this time? Oh let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Dude, mad is you be the bull rider, bro. Should be the bull rider this time. <laughs> you don't want to? <laughs> oh, you want to do it? Oh, yeah, go for it. We got lucky when they made this. The way that the raft is formed, there's a great wave right there, kind of where the boat is surfing at. Oh, yeah. So that's like where our feature, our main feature is. There's supposed to be the feature right here between these walls. Um, that didn't work so good. Huh. But, it's just crazy how awesome of a wrap it still is. This eddy right here, like I said, when there's calm parts, we call eddies. There's also aggressive eddies, so that's constantly moving. That eddy sucks. Not a fun place to be. As more water fills in, it just becomes more of a nasty spot. Until the point where the island starts to get underwater, and this is like lots of water flowing right oh, here. Wow. And all the rocks are covered everywhere. That's when the real knowledge comes out. Alright. 
guys ready? Yeah. Oh, I'll grab those two extras. Go yep. for it, man. Here's him. Front's up there. Uh, do I want to be a bull rider? Anybody else want to ride bull? Yeah. Maddie. I'll grab paddle. Climb on up there. And then the two that are going to be in the front row hop on in. My, my other two hang tight. I'm going to slide the boat in some. Alright, there you go. You can step on it. Uh, that, that rock is very slick, so just very careful. Pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. uh. Unexpectedly and without, well, with warning, there is an yeah. alarm. So that way, if you explore and find yourself out on those rocks without a boat, the water starts rising and says proceed immediately to shore. Mm. I would start proceeding immediately to shore. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're in a boat. Uh huh. Are there like sensors or what? How did? Uh, it times with the dam. So oh. the dam has its own sirens and then they progressively come down it's on a, a schedule after that first siren goes it's like okay two minutes later this siren five minutes later this one so on because it takes about 45 minutes to get all the way down here oh wow all right uh, give me a big push off that rock everybody i normally don't ask for the push but i will right now all right let's go forwards too Just flip, chick fil flip. chick fil flip. Have your knees up here on the tube. All right. Use leverage. Lean backwards. One, two, three. All right, hold on. One, two. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, no problem. Oh. All right, yo. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, these guys are still. Oh. Wait, did I lose the battle? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You lost. All right, y'all, let's go forwards. Forward. Cool. It's all together, kind of easy forward. Yeah, right there. I'm going to get these people in the boat. Uh-huh. Awesome, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, so I can get one in. That was a blast. Yeah. We're going to have you guys join us. Uh, I'll grab those paddles, Steven. All right, that way you can help out. Oh, here we go. One, two. You got it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> How was that? That was lit. <laughs> oh, oh we went airborne. Oh, oh man. That was great. Awesome. 
Oh, the first wall <laughs> suffocates you, right? You're like, what? <laughs> like, look. <laughs> oh, I know. You can, like, I knew. I knew it's gonna be. It's gonna be sucking worse. Second like one. Am I still recording? Oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. Dude, I just felt you pulling me off. I hate that. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought you were pulling me. Yeah, like, under. Like, oh no. Alright, oh, as we come up to Where their boat, this? we're going to parallel cars, and if you're on the side, there's Colin, grab the strap. Well, I am part of the, uh... If you're, if oh, you're Chick-fil-A boat. Just switch. Why are you guys on that boat? <laughs> well, I wanted to join the, uh... Well, well, I am, I am part of the, uh... This is the cool bus. Well, I am part of the white water, uh, express. We've got some team over here. Oh, 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 did you see Big Nasties in the strap? No, for 180. Well, thank you, that was pretty cool. No. <laughs> I almost dropped it. I, 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 I was like, dude, 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 I was like, Oh no, it wasn't you this time, was it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I really thought I was gonna sail back. <laughs> I saw oh my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, that's uh, right side, low side. I had, I had, I had no place to grab. I was like, no, please. <laughs> Honestly, I, as soon as I saw myself, I just let myself fall. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, that's just I, I just let it happen. I was like, uh, I was like, oh, please. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's go. This is happening. Words together. Guys, all forward. Feel great. That was awesome. We got water in my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we need we need to get one more surf or is that here? You guys want? We can go back up to that big surf. The one that kind of waterboarded our front pass. Oh yeah. There's a wave on our right here. We can try it surf. All right. This is the one up. Yeah, let's do it. We call that front wave good wave, and this one's great wave. Nice. <laughs> good wave is better. Okay, let's do the best one. Yeah. What? We'll do a few then. All right. Nice. Yeah, let's go forwards too. So we'll do the big surf first, but four big surfing. Um, I should have a bull rider, unfortunately. Oh, but yeah. <laughs> if you stay up in the front compartment, we'll just get like this and kind of secure yourself with the boat. You can hold on to the straps and just stay like oh, okay. peeled over the front. Yeah, I'll try to try doing that. If your legs over the side, <laughs> if hard, you could just fall out. And I, I don't oh, know. yeah. Get trapped in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, and let's go forwards, too. Two forward. Why do you guys think you cannot date a rap guy? <laughs> because they're too forward. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right, uh, my two in the front seat. When I say get down, it's going to be tight up there. Uh -huh. So mainly just keep that T grip low. All right. Well, you can keep it in your hand. Lean inwards. <laughs> oh, 
good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was like, I'm just gonna give it a Man, you were like, screw <laughs> Actually, I think you can side the boat. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I was like, don't get out of the boat. Oh man, that was awesome. <laughs> nice. Forward stoop. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Bull rider kind of fell back. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> he couldn't get it. <laughs> Alright, we're coming right out. Here we go, everybody. Let's go all forward. All forward. <laughs> nice. We got a surfer. <laughs> the guy. We got a great community out here. Raptors, surfers, river boarders. That's crazy. Guys just pop out out of nowhere. He's eyeballing the same way we are. Let's go forward. One. You mean like, you mean like when we were just being pulled up? No, no, like uh, between falling out and being pulled up. Oh, no. No? No. We, we didn't find rock. There's an echo under this bridge. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the same Oh, <laughs> we were out of it. <laughs> I just missed it. <laughs> that was cool though. <laughs> hey, y'all see you on, you're on camera at least. Oh yeah. But yeah. And then uh, guys, the, the biggest side of training, uh, I guess, in, in people's first year is just doing it. Is it like medical Repetition. train too? First aid CPR is our minimum. And we do, if you've never been certified before, we make you do the hands on. Mm -hmm. um, for those folks that, you know, you're returning, it's a two year cert. So if you're returning on your third year, and we're in a time crunch. We always promote the hands-on class. Oh, with the Red Cross group? Yeah. Well, we do the sure. fire department. They oh. host it for us. Sure. Um, and then they come out here, and they, uh, Swift Water Rescue is a certification and training for like rescues and moving water. Um, when they do their Swift Water trainings, you know, we'll offer our rafts and assistance with that. Oh, nice. So we work hand in hand with them. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of just exposing them to like our trainees to as much as we can. A lot of what you're going to learn though is just in doing it. Mm -hmm. Coming out here with other first years trainees or even returning guides, you know, come out in fun runs, those style boats, uh, where it's not you know telling you about the history. It's not anything like that. It's strictly how do I get better. Oh, okay. Those, wow. Those guys that get out here the most, they turn out to be the, some of the best. Huh. Um, for sure but yeah then it, it can you kind of just start learning from what you've done um, when we're in the moving water there's different features that we can see in the moving water um, one simple one to describe is what we call downstream and upstream V's um, as you're moving downstream you know if two channels of water are coming together that's ideally your deepest points right in the middle 
if for some reason there's water moving around like this there's an obstruction right here and it's forcing the water around mm -hmm. so you know learning when the water is coming this way or when it's coming this way you know you can use that to help steer your boat sure. um, we're constantly we call it the line is the track our boat takes so we're constantly trying to just have a good line stay right it's not always the middle but typically stay right in the middle hmm. um, here it's it's awesome how it's so wide i mean our line can be 40 feet wide at some points um, a lot of other places you've only got like a thin slot and you got a fit through but yeah it's very fun you guys don't have anything to do in the summer i recommend the yeah. summer job it's oh, a yeah. cool place. We've got a lot of folks that are weekends only. Military. <laughs> we got a good bit of military guides here. Wow. Not today. If I was going to be here next year, I, I would do it. Mm -hmm. But I'd be over at uh, oh, over at Fort uh, Fort Bragg. Okay. That's where I'd be next. Fort Liberty. Yeah. I still call it Fort Bragg. I still call it Fort Bragg. <laughs> on, on the boat, I call it Fort Moore because, uh, you know, accuracy. I did not know. So, my first station was actually Fort Hood. <clears throat> I, 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 I still call it Hood. I would not want to be there. Oh, yeah. Fort Hood's not bad. I don't want to be there. It's fun. <laughs> so, we, we actually have a lot of good stuff going on in the summer. So, in Columbus, for you guys may not know, Fort Benning is like one of the largest army bases, I'd say, and a huge yeah. training ground. Um, it's, it's basically like a big school. They'll have big trainings. They'll bring military members from everywhere. Oh, God, no. Bring, you know, you do a few weeks of training and then go on somewhere I've, else. I've oh. met a, uh, a soldier from Mexico um, and, then, uh, and then some from other uh, Latin countries. Yeah. I've seen Ger Germans, English, Welsh. Well, I've seen France uh, and Guatemala. I've seen, I've seen. Yeah. Really? I've seen South Korea. Yeah. There's all kinds of electronic things. I had a friend uh, that went to the same uh, elementary middle school as me. She's in the Air Force. She flies helicopters. Oh, that's they cool. Her in to do a training. Nice. Earlier today, we saw there was a helicopter. Yeah, actually, we saw it. That was a helicopter that passed by like when we first got here. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep. They'll use this as a track. They'll go straight down the river. Dang. And sometimes they'll do circles around the city and like digitally pick buildings and start targeting them. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like training. Like training. Oh, wow. So that it's not just like on base stuff. They do some stuff some. here. And then we have the, uh, the Army Rangers. They're like the top dog, I guess, like the mm -hmm. Navy SEALs of the Navy. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, <laughs> the Delta Force is better. Okay. They, they are they are along the same lines as, as SEAL Team 6. Yeah, okay. But they, these Rangers, they'll uh, they do a, an event every year called the Best Ranger. Oh. And it's uh, that's fun because they incorporate the city too. So they'll oh, like, nice. it's a whole week of competitions, put it that way. They're staying up for like 48 hours straight hiking. Wow. And, uh, but then they do an event where they fly into our convention center. They get dropped in like on a rope. Wow. And then do whatever things around the football stadium. They then run up the river walk like two miles up to here with us. Do some stuff downtown here. And then they get on a canoe and paddle down back down there. Oh, wow. Yeah. For the best ranger competition just yeah. for the competition just it's like a public thing too uh -huh. so it gets the public involved uh and it's it's fun those guys are just straight suffering though so oh, I bet, yeah. Yeah, they, they are straight suffering. <laughs> like, torture. Bring, like last year's and i was hanging out with the guys that are organizing it and i think he said yeah over the last two days they've hiked over a hundred miles yeah. with their full pack gear, so you know, oh. 80 pounds on their back. And meanwhile, they're also doing like shooting competitions and like hit, you know. Uh, they said through all of that, their best shooter of 200 targets, he hit 198. Wow, that is as insane. As tired as you are, some moving targets. He only missed two. Moving, yeah. Only Dang. missed two. Oh, well, that is insane. 99% accuracy rate. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. Like, 
Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Uh, no, no, like shooting pistols, you don't realize you know, just like just how much you actually have to like, like aim that like at actually like, to actually go with the with the recoil. Wow. You don't realize it until you actually do it. Yeah, that was another yell. Oh, it was awesome. Do you know the way back? Yeah. Do you mind trying to just leading everyone back? Yeah. Definitely. Dude. High five, you guys. That was awesome. Yo. Amazing. Thank you. Oh yeah, awesome. Sick. You guys, uh, have a good time. Yeah. I'll see you. Up to, I gotta wait for the other. Yeah. So. No, I got gotcha. you. Have a good time. Yeah. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate oh, it. Team too. Cool. Oh no, no, no. no.